Hey what's up guys I'm Anuja here. Today I'm going to show you servlet execution steps. Many students get frustrated while executing the servlet because they have to create the hierarchy of the folders such as web apps, classes and they have to paste the web.xml file into that folder and then it the servlet should be properly configured if it is not properly configured then it cannot be deployed to the browser so don't do the such mess today i'm going to show you simple servlet execution steps without creating the hierarchy of roots so let's go first for executing servlet you have to install apache tomcat on your computer so let's install apache tomcat on your computer first okay I have Apache Tomcat 0.52.exe. So now I'm double clicking on it and I'm running it as an administrator. Okay. So next, I agree. I will select here full. So that means it will include examples of servlet JSP. So observe here the proper configurations i type here 9 9 why i have done this so because i have installed netbeans on my computer by default netbeans binds its port of networking to 8080 port to avoid such conflicts i have given http connector port 9090 so I will also make here changes of 9009 so I will go next I will select the path of JRE installed on my system so it is by default path and I won't change it so here is if you have installed 8 Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 on your computer and if you have only one partition then I will suggest don't go for the default destination folder that they have suggested because many a time the partition c partition has higher most priority into the windows 8 and 8.1 and it will hide your web.xml file when you make any modifications into it so in windows c i have created tomcat name folder and i will install my apache tomcat into it okay let's install it yes there we go when we will install apache tomcat we will able to run servlet so there we go okay 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 yes so the setup is completed i will run apache tomcat so this is release now i will close it so this is starting apache tomcat so let's ensure that with so now I am typing here http colon double slash localhost 9090 which will transform me to the apache tomcat server which is installed on my computer okay there we go I am on apache tomcat 7.0.52 where I have installed it on my computer so let's run the examples so i'm going to run servlet example i'm doing so to ensure that whether it is properly installed or not if you have fail if you are facing the error here then you uninstall the setup and install the setup again and conclude that the setup of apache tomcat is corrupted so i'm minimizing it okay so I have written a client.html code where the submit button is created which will go to the hello user name servlet when I will click on the submit button it has the method post so let me close it here I have one hello user.java code in which the all code of servlet is written it is nothing but a simple hello user class which extends http servlet having the post method so when we execute the servlet 
it will show me hello friends with the three exclamatory marks let's see whether my servlet is properly deployed to the browser so i'm going to close it so do one thing just go to the tomcat directory where you have installed the tomcat go to the lib and search for the servlet dash api dot jar file just copy this file into your folder where the actual java code of servlet is written and stored so i am going to minimize it so open the command prompt and now just do the previous path setting and now just type java c hello user dot java hash class path servlet dot api dot jar this whole command is written for compiling the servlet if you don't given the hash class path servlet dot api dot jar then it will give you error for all servlet code is compile it yes it is compiling just wait okay it is successfully compiled so let's go to the folder where the class file of the java code of servlet is is created so copy that class file and just go to the tomcat directory web apps examples web inf classes and just paste it okay so now come back and in web inf open the web.xml file i am going to open it with the dreamweaver 8 as i have installed it i will open it if you don't have then you can open it with the you can open it with the notepad or wordpad but i will suggest don't open it with the wordpad because wordpad many a times can change the formatting which will creates problem for deploying so search for the servlet tag okay here is a servlet tag i will copy one servlet tag i will make here a lot of space to identify which one is copied so just write here hello user which is a servlet name just copy it and paste it if you don't have the confidence of upper case and lower case then i will suggest that go to the particular java file and copy the name and class name in the web.xml file because upper case and lower case can make the conflict to the java code to deploy the servlet as the java is case sensitive language so just i will copy the servlet mapping code Okay. Just make a lot of space. This lot of spacing do not change the formatting. So don't worry for the lot of spacing. So just make here hello user. Just copy this and paste here. So observe the URL pattern. so here you give the pattern from the slash example afterwards slash example part so just it is this slash servlet slash servlet the erase slash servlet and only keep slash servlet slash hello user so this is a url pattern this is a most important while your servlet is going to deploy to the browser so save this by pressing control s so just minimize it and now i'm going to run the servlet just open the client.html 
ओके जस्ट सबमिट इट ये द सवलेट इज एग्जीक्यूटेड वेयर एज आई हैव प्रीवियसली सेड हेलो फ्रेंड्स विद द थ्री एक्सलेमेटरी मार्क्स इज सवलेट इज डिप्लॉयड टू द ब्राउजर सो हियर इज द ऑल एग्जीक्यूशन ऑफ सवलेट सो सवलेट एग्जीक्यूशन is as shown in the video if you have any query then feel free to post below into the comment section i would like to reply to your questions and queries if you like the video then make sure that you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel if you are already not for the more technical videos have a great journey ahead thank you for watching the video